What's good everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 19 video on the channel. Today we're gonna review, we're gonna try Optimus Prime. That's how people on Twitter are calling these icons. The Prime Icon Moments, Clarence Zedorf. We're gonna do his lone SBC, try him for a few games. We're gonna come back with a feedback and let you know the pros, the cons regarding this card and before we get started make sure to smash the like button if you are enjoying the content on the channel okay guys so we've made the SBC for Lone Zedorf for a player in this position you need to use Shadow especially because he's not extremely extremely fast guys 79 acceleration 83 sprint speed with Shadow he goes over 90 uh, at both acceleration and sprint speed he's already great at finishing shot power and long shots for a central uh, midfielder but without Shadow he wouldn't be very very decent let's call it like that at defending with Shadow story changes and he gets better over there stamina is good 87 strength 87 aggression 75 mm -hmm. uh, jumping 70 uh, five. Uh, he's also very good at dribbling, balance 88, reactions 95, ball control 94, dribbling 88 and composure 94. After minute one guys, we're gonna use him in two types of formations. We're gonna use him in a 4-2-3-1, exactly as a CDM over here. And to be honest, the formation that I believe suits him best is this one right here as a right or left central midfielder in a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow or 4-3-1-2 or 4-3-2-1 without further ado guys let's see what Optimus Prime Clarence Zedorf can do in Ultimate Team first opponent 4-3-3 third variation he's got SBC David Luiz together with Ramos decent looking squad Okay, four star skill moves, great with dribbling, would be actually very, very, very good to build up attacks. Nice here for R9, that's number one. Assist for Clarence Zedorf, minute four, okay, so far so good. Seems to be strong enough to repel opponents you know to protect the ball let's see yeah protecting the ball without any problems should be our ball because it was a fall there Ronaldo yeah that was a nice goal High pressure, he couldn't handle it. His mistake. Oh, and rage quit. Okay, never mind. Next opponent, 4 4 1 1. Second variation is that Balak Fabinho to close down the midfield. Uh, then are now Utovic, Rashford, William, and I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know that striker. I've actually used him, but I can't remember his name. Zedorf, come on. Ooh, he is. He is very, very strong with the ball. Nice interception from Zedorf there. And Ronaldo hits the crossbar, then back to him and save from the goal line. Hold it. Ooh, not a miss there. I think that's the fourth or fifth big chance that we have and we can't score. Maybe now? No, it's 
It's not our game. Zedor gets tackled in the last. Okay. <sighs> not a post. Weird, weird half. Very, very weird. Yeah, nice build up there. Okay, equalizer, first shot. Come on, someone score! It. Now, th this game is has been Weird, I don't know. Yeah, no way I'm missing that. No way I'm missing that one. I hit it even green and it doesn't work. It's been a very strange very very strange encounter very strange I think at least eight or nine big big chances missed classic goal team uh, a hybrid from uh, yeah I've got the Premier League you've got the Calcio uh, will be interesting uh, now because I'm gonna force a bit Zedor I think I'm gonna use him uh, in a more attacking position I want to see how he performs over there Zedorf, maybe with the first goal in the club, but gets blocked in last second. He's long passing! What? The pass was great, come on. Now score it, now because the AI helps him, but never mind. His long pass here was fantastic. Number one, beautiful counter there. Oh, he moved the goalkeeper. I'm such a noob. I'm such a noob. I should have. <laughs> I should have thought about it. Ref, that's a full ref. Come on, man. That's our first goal in the club and we make it 2-0. That's beautiful from Zedorf there, and we make it 3 0, probably a rage quit. Yep, rage quit. Okay, guys, let's take one more game. Playing against the 4 3 2 1 formation, Absic, uh, Nangolan, and KDB as midfielders uh, Dibala, Perisic, and Mertens up front. Again, I'm gonna try Zedorf um, as a central attacking midfielder and 4 1 2 1 2 narrow strictly, guys, to see his atta uh, attacking capabilities. That was an ugly goal, sorry. <sighs> I'm overpowering them. He's great at shooting, but I'm overpowering them. That's my fault, not his fault.
that's beautiful from Zedorf, but too many defenders there, man. Now, now I kind of feel happy about a stupid goal that I scored because they're putting too many defenders in the goal. Yeah, it's it's normal. They see a good squad like this. It's normal to to do that. Rage quit in this game also, guys. So I have an idea about uh, Zedorf, about where he should be played, in which formation, his pros, his cons. Okay, this card is a bit better comparing with previous ones regarding the activity, you know, how active he is uh, in the midfield in a 4-2-3-1. Still, you can't play him as a CDM in 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, you can't really play him as a cam in 4 one 2 one two. Uh, narrow. You can't play him as a cam in 4-2-3-1. The only two positions in my opinion in which this player can be used are the obvious ones. Left uh, defensive mid midfielder or right defensive midfielder in combinations or 4-2-3-1. Left midfielder, left central midfielder or right central midfielder in a 4-3-3-4 four variation, the attacking one. And now my number one pick. The 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and 4-3-1-2 with Clarence Zedorf being used as a right central midfielder or left central midfielder. He is decent with the interceptions. He is very good with the ball. For a left CM, right CM, he's very agile and good with the ball. He's great at shooting. I may have missed some shots in this uh, clip, but it was my fault. I could feel him that he's great at shooting. He's very, very good also at passing guys of four stars skill moves for me is so important so so important for a left central midfielder or right central midfielder uh, because i get to do la croqueta i get inside the penalty box which is kind of my number one way of scoring uh, goals guys now the big question should you do the sbc of optimus prime clarence edorf well if you know that you're gonna play the 4 one 2 one 2 uh, narrow this formation for the rest of the year yeah I should do it Zedorf I think is a top three player that can be used as a, as a left CM or right CM if you know you like to change formations like 4 2 3 1 4 triple 2 or other formations I wouldn't do it because there are other players in that position that are better than Zedorf and to you know spend 1.4 1.5 million coins on an SBC and lose that money you know you can't trade them can't trade the player anymore it's kind of risky very very risky I would uh, as I told you risk it only if you know you play 4 and 2 and 2 narrow or 4 3 1 2 guys hope uh, this video has been helpful for you don't forget to drop a like thank you all for watching my name is Ovian I'll see you guys later I